Okay, this is going to be a tutorial on how to make an animated GIF um, using Photoshop. Um, I have this uh, video here, QuickTime video, uh, showing me using this software, and I want to turn this into an animated GIF so I can put it on my website. Um, first, we need to take this uh, video and export out all the frames. Now, in the past, you could do this with QuickTime Pro, but uh, apparently that software is no longer available. So we need to use another video encoder software. And I'm using a program called VLC Media Player. And I found this uh, video on the website, so a hat tip to Techie Druid for making this video because it shows how to export out all the frames um, doing using this encoder. Um, so first we need to go into the uh, settings for this uh, media player and we need to hit show all and then um, come down here to the video section and under the, the filters um, we need to come down here to um, video, where is it? Uh, scene filter. Um, and this is going to uh, give us our um, output. Um, the mo most important thing here is the directory path. Um, on the Windows, it's easier to uh, put that path in, but on the Mac, it's a little harder. So it's going to be your users and then the name of your computer and then the folders where you want to put it. And I have yet to create a folder for this. So I'm going to create a new folder in my downloads. And I'm just going to call it uh, frames 2, because <laughs> I already have a frame 1. Um, so that's going to be my um, the name of the folder. So back in the preferences of here, um, it's in my downloads folder. And then the subfolder is frame 2. So that's mine. Um, and then the recording ratio, and if you do a, a hover over this, it will tell you that how many images per second um, that it's going to record. And I want uh, one out of five. Um, so every, if I'm doing a 30 frames per second, um, I'll get six frames per second out of this. So then you also need to go to the filters and then under filters, you also need to select uh, the scene video filter and check that. And then hit save. And now um, I can take my um, recording and I need to find it on my desktop. Okay, so here is uh, my screen recording. Um, also in this frame too, I'm going to open this up and you're going to see it populate with the frames as it does this. So I'm going to take this video file and just drop it onto the media player and it's playing it, which you can't see on the bottom. Um, and when it gets to the end, I'll close this and it's just about there. It's a 10 second long video. Okay, so then you can see here in this folder, it has all the frames. And you can see it's um, numbered them um, 1, 6, 11, 16. So it's every five frames, it puts it in there. Um, so I've got in this thing a number of frames. So now we're going to go to Photoshop. And I want to take the very first frame and this is going to be my base layer and I'm going to drag that into Photoshop and I'm just dragging it onto my dock and it should open it up here in Photoshop. Um, now I need to drag all the other ones on top of this because I need to put them all into different layers. So I'm going to select all the other ones and I'm just going to drag them onto the uh, Photoshop here, onto here. And you can see that it's, it's starting to populate them. And it, and it does take a little while to get all the frames here. So I'm going to pause this video until they all load in here. 
At this point, all the layers have uh, been input into Photoshop, um, but we need to rasterize all these new layers. So um, we're going to select all of them. So I'm just going to scroll through um, and then hit my shift key to select them all. And then I'm going to do a right click with my mouse. And then from this menu, I need to select rasterize the layers. Uh, so that way we can draw on them um, and do some further edits. Um, I've also gone ahead and deleted a number of the uh, frames that I don't need anymore uh, just to make my workload less. Um, at this point, we can start building the timeline. Um, so I'm going to go to the window and then select the timeline and it's going to create the timeline down here. Um, and then from your list of layers, select your first layer. Um, that's going to be the, your first frame. And I'm going to select that one there. And then come over here to create frame animation. And just hit that button. And you can see it put the first frame right here. Um, you can set the time that this is going to be displayed. Um, as it uh, plays through it. And so once you set the first one, the, all the other ones are going to follow that same amount of time. Uh, but you can adjust them later. Okay, so now we need to enter the second frame. So what you'll do is you're going to hit the plus button down here. And it's going to add a new frame. And now we're going to edit that frame and going to say, I want that layer for that frame. And now we're going to do that again. I'm going to hit the plus button and then I'm going to turn on my next layer and then turn off the one that, that's below it. So now I have um, three layers and you'll just keep doing this until you add all the layers that you want. Okay, so I'm going to kind of pause here. So we've got a number, we got five frames. And each is going to be played for 0.2 seconds. So if I hit the play button, it should play through them. And you can see that it is playing through them. Um, at this point, you actually have an animation. And you can export out these as a animated GIF. So you'll go to File, um, what is it? I always use the uh, Shift um, Command S. No, shift, uh, not that one. Shift Command Option S. Okay, and that brings up the save window, save for web. Um, now you can set the size. So right now we're at 212K for this uh, JPEG or uh, this GIF image. And we need to set this to a GIF. And you'll see that that number here is going to change. So it went up. Uh, but now we can also set the image size. So right now this is a pretty big image at 2048 pixels. So if I make it something like 300 pixels and then hit tab, you'll see that number drops down to uh, 22K. And then I can save it. And um, I'm just going to put it on my desktop right here. And I'll call it uh, animation uh, one and hit save. And then if I go to my desktop, and here's the animation. And if I uh, go here to the this view, it will play it through. Um, you can so you can see it is, you know, it is doing something. Um, there's not a lot of movement yet because I haven't added so many frames. You can also drag this into a, a web browser like Safari. Um, and then it will play in there. You can see now it's playing at the uh, right correct resolution of uh, 300 dp or dots per inch. Uh, so this is my final uh, animation um, playing. It's about 30 frames um, and it's about 310 kilobytes. So hopefully this uh, tutorial on how to use VLC plus Adobe Photoshop was helpful to you. Um, I had to make it for my own purposes just to uh, make sure that I remember how to do it in the future. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.